What is up guys? Snowshoe here. Welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team from the Panic Attack server. This is actually a brand new server. Doesn't look like it, but that's we actually migrated it. Uh, some people are having some issues connecting. Today though, everything's working good for me. It has been working good, is working good. I guess I should say is working well. Whatever. Today, we are going to attempt to be a snowshoe in space. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, uh, I've done so much work. It's been a long time since you guys have seen me. And I've just been grinding away at this thing. Because I don't think you guys want to see the boring portion. So I'm trying to get it all done. Now let's see what we've done so far. So I am a bat. Um, okay, I'm trying to trying to remember. First of all... Let's go through the fun little thing. Check that over over there. That is a little house I made for our villager I found. Look at this, it's so cute. I painted it all, used the, let's see, can you see it? Right there we have a paint can and a paint bucket and a paint mixer. And he has a paper trade, but he also has a compass trade that's not going to be very fun to get because I don't have 10 emeralds, so maybe we can unlock it. I've got tons of paper in here, but uh... I'm still not 100% sure about how villagers work, especially in 164, I don't really remember. So, I don't know, he may be useless, but what he is doing is attracting a lot of zombies, which is really annoying, but uh, whatever, he lives with us, I guess. Oh wow, man, we're getting some lag here, hang on. Sorry about that, we were pulling some, some frame rate issues there. Okay, so, let's see, we've got this paint can here, and we can dip that paintbrush you saw in there. And we'll get whatever colors in that paint can, but we can also use this paint mixer to mix different kinds of colors. Anyway, it's pretty standard. What else did we do? Okay, so we got a ton of Galactic Craft stuff going. First of all, what you need is you need this electric compressor. And we've looked it up in recipes before, but uh, let's see. This is what we're going to make today, the portable oil extractor. we got to go get some oil. So check it out. We've got these compressed plates. And these are made using this, com there's a compressor and an electric comp compressor. This one is so much cheaper because we've got these, uh, these little portable electricity thingies. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called, leadstone energy cells. Uh, the other one takes coal and it's really expensive on coal. And this is all the coal I have left just because I've made so much since you guys have been gone. And this thingy is a circuit fabricator. It makes these little wafers. So you can do a basic wafer. If I stick a redstone torch in that cell, it'll give us a red uh, basic wafer over here. And then if I stick a redstone repeater up here, it'll give us an advanced wafer. So it takes diamonds, which I have a ton of silicon and redstone and power and makes little wafer thingies. I don't know. I'm sure it can make other stuff, but we haven't gotten there yet. So to go to the moon, this is what we're going to do first because it's you need a tier one rocket to go to the moon. So if we check out our recipe for rocket, 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 here we go. And tier one rocket here. So you saw that we needed to make it on a NASA workbench. So I created a NASA workbench. Uh, let's, let's see if I can just quickly look up the recipe of that for you. Here we go. So we took one of those advanced wafers, like I said, did some compressed steel, which is made by using compressed iron, <laughs> which you take iron ingots into that compressor, make compressed iron, compress that iron with extra coal and then you get compressed steel then all this other stuff is pretty basic so I have a NASA workbench already working it's in that chest over there and then if we have our tier 1 rocket like so we have these heavy duty plates and these are made using a steel compressed steel compressed aluminum and compressed bronze compressed bronze is its own matter in and of itself because you have to get alloy ingots which are made from tin and copper it's just been a crazy adventure, but I think I have enough to finally make it. I don't know, have we made that engine yet? Let's see, let's check out what I've got so far. Um, I don't think I've made the engine, so I guess we'll do that also. Okay, but anyway, so you can see we have the nose cone that's going to go on the top in our, in our thingy. Let's see, how many spaces does it have? Um, so it's two by four there, two rocket fins at the back. So it's, oh, this is all... This is all going to be funky, but it's going to be something like that. And then our rocket fins over here, and then we'll have our engine somewhere back here. It's all going to be made in that NASA workbench. 
and we have this leftover stuff to make our engine and so then once we get that let's see let's go ahead and do that let's do the engine just so I can take you through this this whole process here so we need a tin canister four heavy-duty plates we have that flint and steel button and oxygen vent which is compressed tin and compressed steel so let's go compress some tin and some steel I'll show you how that works it's not that exciting but hey <laughs> it's FDB we're having fun so compressed tin let's see uh, is this that's aluminum this is really confusing because the compressed tin is the color of aluminum but the compressed aluminum is a color of tin yeah it's great so let's see I need some more tin let's go cook some of this up I think I have some don't have anything in there got some pulverized tin though that'll be cooked up soon tons of pulverized iron because we need it badly might I add that should be let's get one more here we go just for posterity always try to have even numbers because all this stuff takes even numbers and here we go that should be enough tin for what we need so here we have these compressed tin plates and we'll get one more you get it takes two ingots to make one plate so two ingots right there one plate you can do two at a time so like if we do this let's see I don't think we're gonna need to do it so I'll show you anyway use two ingots we get one compressed iron plate and then once we get that compressed iron plate stick it back in the electric compressor like so surround it with coal like that and we'll get a compressed steel plate here in just a moment <laughs> man this is taking so long guys and there we go okay so we can craft these into a vent oxygen vent like that which is going to be used to make our engine here so we've got a vent tin canister flint and steel so let's see let's get some flint and steel and a button going I believe I have a button in my backpack or at least stone I do have stone in my backpack use that to make where'd it go stone I, I thought I put one right there stone button button let's see where's the flint there we go and the steels this is not gonna be shapeless oh I got it right Woo. okay so flint and steel I think we have everything ready to make our engine here now we need to grab these heavy duty plates okay so we said I think it's something like that and that and that and that and no dang it <laughs> this always happens man I forgot to grab this tin canister here let's grab that pick all this stuff up please okay we're gonna do it this time that and that and that and that and that and finally that and we have a tier one rocket engine that's gonna go on the back right there okay so now we can use this NASA workbench and create our rocket oh this is gonna be so awesome okay there we go there we go I think that's all good now what we're gonna do in a little bit is get some oil because we're gonna need some kind of way let's see let us create let's just do it right here why not we can move all this really easy I've already done it before just testing it out so I haven't done this though okay nose cone Oh, I really hope something doesn't come blow me up because that would be terrible and there and there and there and there and there oh <gasps> oh look at me okay hang on I got I gotta turn the snowshoe to show you guys Let's see where am I snowshoe oh okay now we got it at five <laughs> that looks so cool uh, I'm wearing my sunglasses too oh that's so awesome okay uh, out of F5 mode here all right let's pick this up so now we have okay that was scary I thought it just blew up so now we have a rocket and what do you need to launch a rocket you need fuel especially if we're going to the moon which we plan on doing where's my bat where's my bat there it is so you plan on going to the moon we're gonna need a lot of fuel so what I've created so far let's see I have created a fuel loader which is gonna load the fuel into the rocket and to actually get the fuel you'll need a refinery which comes from actually it takes the oil and turns it into rocket fuel then you load it in the fuel loader and to get the oil we need to have a let's see it is a oil extractor portable oil extractor so we need some compressed bronze compressed steel that shouldn't be too hard I don't think I I do have some alloy ingots right there so we need three compressed bronze two compressed steel 
Shouldn't take too long right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we just wait a second. And boom, that took no time at all. Okay, so now we gotta do... Let's see. Whoops, that was weird. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do that. I need to get another one. Let's see, let's throw this stuff up here because I'm tired of carrying that in my face like that. Uh, okay, so we've got tons of this. Oh man, I'm out of power for this back here. Darn it! I've already refilled my power generation system, which was a good thing. Actually, it was really, really fast. I just ran into the nether, grabbed some lava, and I have tons of power now. This, this Galacticraft stuff doesn't take hardly any power, which is really, really cool. Okay, let's get some of this iron cooking up. Oh, what the hey. 64 of it. Let's at least get two of these so that we can go make another plate. So that we can have two steel plates. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> uh, that was a funny video. Oh no. Okay, this thing kind of glitches out. There's actually two pieces of coal right there, but you can't tell until I do that and it turns into three. It's kind of weird. So we can take this. There we go. We got both of those. Bring our coal back. Run over here. Create our little shape we got going like so with the redstone there and we have a portable oil extractor so as long as we have this empty liquid canister in our inventory we can use the portable oil extractor to go right click on some oil which i have some over here if you guys remember from the first did i leave this in the first episode this may have been the i actually had an episode zero that was unaired that you guys probably don't even know about because i thought it wasn't very good so let's see um, this is sludge. Darn it. Is this sludge? Oh, that's sludge. Is this sludge? I think this is all sludge. Dang it! Okay, but we do have some oil somewhere. I think there's... Is there some over here, maybe? Hmm. Okay, no matter. I definitely know where there is oil. And that is over here in my little quarry that I have my minions dig out. You guys have seen all that already. Oh! Something else I forgot to, you guys have seen it already, but the, the lights, I made those. I don't think you saw that last time. Let's see, where is the oil? Do I remember? Is it here? No, it's in the one that looks like a square. Aha, the square. <laughs> see, flawless logic. Okay, so if we have this canister, we can go up here, create a nice little safe zone, because I drowned in here once. It was a bad experience. So I think, I think... You can- oh look! It worked! I just- I kept right clicking it and our oil canister is filled. Now one filled oil canister like that it says it's filled to a thousand. Doesn't give it a units or anything, but a thousand is enough to fill up a rocket 100% and you'll need- let's see, I should probably make another canister. I don't think you need 50% to get to the moon and back. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know why we were getting some FPS issues. Things are acting a little funny today. I don't know what it is. Alright, so now we have the oil. So let us use our refinery here. Refinery? Yeah. So I think, let's just do it over here with all my other Galactic Craft stuff. Oh yeah, that too. I'll tell you about that in a second. So if we use this, and I think we need some power here. Let's see, so we... Yep. Got that oil right there. So if we take one of these, like this one, and you guys will see how much power these things use. It's like nothing. So this has 62, 480 power. So, let's see, it's ready. So if I refine it, did it work? Is it working? Is this taking power? Um, hello? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, do I need to, no, I don't need to put it in there. Refine. It says it's ready. I have a feeling it's not getting power correctly. What the heck? Oh, is this thing not... No, this should be outputting correctly. Yeah, it's outputting correctly. Um, I set all these to the output mode just in case. There we go. I don't know what the heck was going on. Okay, we're fine. There it is. So you'll see it's using my power. Eh, it takes a little while just because this thing is not the best. Yeah, I think we may be getting some... No, my F... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what my FPS is. Okay, well, we're waiting for that. I'll explain what's going on here. So if you look at my person, 
Let's see, let's turn in the snowshoe so you guys have a better idea of what's going on here. You'll notice on my little menu right there, I've got a little glass thing on my head, which is what I was about to show you. If you look, I have an oxygen mask on, so we created that. I created an oxygen tank. It's a heavy one, so it's got a lot of oxygen capacity. And oxygen gear, which takes the oxygen from my oxygen tank, sticks it through my mask so I can breathe in outer space. We haven't used it yet because we have plenty of oxygen here on Earth, but this was actually... Where'd it go? This thing was empty whenever we got it, so to fill it up, you have to use an oxygen compressor, which is a pain in the butt to make, and so is this oxygen collector. But anyway, you stick it in right there, it's being powered, and this thing is an oxygen collector, so it takes the oxygen from the air, you can see the little particles going in there, and let's see... Then it runs through this pipe, goes up through here, supplies the oxygen to the compressor, which then puts it in my little pack. And then it sticks on my back, and now I can breathe. Yay! <laughs> oh man, so much stuff going on. I think that's it. Oh, there's one, one little extra thing. Okay, so we have... What the heck is going on? Why is it telling me it's not getting power? What? Did it need to go on top? I know I put it on top for half a second. Oh, that's it. What the heck? Why does it need to go on top? Okay, so it's refining. Well, that's annoying. So we're waiting on that. Let's go get everything else set up here. Um, I'm human snowshoe. I want to be bat snowshoe. It's so much easier to travel around as a bat, guys. Let me tell you, if I could be a bat in real life, can they? Can bats see? I, like, I know they use echolocation and stuff, but is that... They can see just fine, right? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, what I I can't remember what I had to use that for. Let's see. So what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, these the rocket launch pad. Let's go get our launch site set up while we're waiting on that to refine. So we'll also need our fuel loader. We have that going. I decided. I don't know if this is true or not, but I know. You know, you would think when you go up, you need to use a certain amount of fuel, right? So if you pick somewhere really really high up in the air, you would have to use less fuel to get up to the. Okay, so we just we put this in a 3x3. Anyway, to get up to space, you have to use less fuel if you're up in there. I don't know. So once I put this, it's going to turn into a launch pad like that. And we'll stick our fuel loader in here like a so. So once we get our this thing full of rocket fuel, we'll stick it in here like this. And we'll power this, and it's going to start loading it into our rocket. Let's go ahead and stick the rocket on there. Where'd it go? The rocket on the launch pad. And right now you can see I can actually get in this. I think I can't be in morph, but I'm not sure. So I can actually get in here. Aha! So if I push space, I will launch, but we don't have any fuel. You can hit C to check your fuel, 0%. So I'll hit Shift to get out of here. And F5 to get back in my normal mode here. So, let's see. We'll need to bring some power. I gotta remember that. And can I hit the water from here? What do you think? Oh gosh, oh gosh, Woo. <laughs> uh, I would have died too, I'm not wearing any feather falling or anything. Ah, <sighs> sometimes risk is the spice of life. Um, so let's head back over here, let's check everything out. What was, there was one more thing we have to do, what is it? Oh yeah, I remember, we have to create a parachute. So, whenever you go to the moon, if I remember right, I think you don't need a parachute. And that's mostly because you don't take fall damage on the moon because there's, on the moon there's something like 18% gravity or something, I don't know. We'll see all the stats in a minute. This is all from the wiki, so I'm not sure if this is going to work. I know, I can't remember if I mentioned it. I know I mentioned it in the podcast. I don't think I mentioned it in uh, in this series yet. Is it refined yet? Oh, it's refined, okay. So we stick it. No, did I leave that up there? Oh, what a doofus, Snowshoe. What are you doing? Um, one of the members of our server, TibTuner, decided he was going to go to the moon also, and he had already done a trial run, and his spaceship exploded on entry. <laughs> so he got stuck on the moon, because once your spaceship explode, explodes, there's no way to get back off the moon. And I'm really worried that that's what's going to happen to us. So, my plan is, I forgot to tell you guys this too, my plan is we are going to take our villager to the moon with us so that we have some company. He's going to die, though, is the only problem. Hmm. Maybe we won't take him on this trip. I don't know. Let's let's at least take somebody who we don't care about. Let's take a sheep or something so we have some company on the moon. 
and the sheep is probably gonna die but uh it'll be all right oh what am i doing we need to go over here let's get this going i think this just fills up instantaneously which it does all right so we have 1000 fuel okay i'm gonna take oh man you see that frame rate what the heck is going on okay i apologize for that i have no idea what's going on with the frame rate all i have to do is stop recording and start recording and it's completely fine again but uh, I don't I don't know what's slowing it down. It's really weird. I haven't had any issues like this yet, so hopefully it doesn't persist. Okay, so the fuel loader for the tank. So we need to get some of this going here, and I think we can just stick it right there. Aha, we have electrical. So we load the fuel, and let's let that start going. I think we can leave the chunk, and let's get our parachute going. I need to look this up real quick. Para, para, parachute, and like this. Okay, so we need three string, and then three canvas, which is an extra five string. So we need 15. That's eight, 18 string, and six sticks there. You get kind of good at doing the math on this stuff after a little while. 18 string and six sticks, and we'll be able to make a parachute. What color do you think we should do? I want to do a red one. I don't know. Let's see what kind of dye we have. And ah, oh, I missed it. Dang it. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's see the string is over here. Oh, I've got so much string. How did I get that much string? So we need, uh, I need some sticks, which I think I can just use these. Let's see, is that gonna work? Um, like this, right? Oh no, I don't think it's working. Dang it! I have to use actual sticks. I don't know. For some reason, the uh, the bamboo doesn't work for all stick applications. Only for some, so that should be good enough right there. We do one of these, and one of these, and one of these. Plenty of sticks. Get those going. Three of those. And this should be plenty right there. So that'll give us three scroll thingies, whatever those are called. And, oh, we only need to do one of these, I forgot. Across the top like that, and we have a parachute from Galacticraft Core. Perfect. Let's go to our die chest. Where's that at? There it is. I want a red one. Rose red. You got plenty of that. And we will have a red parachute. Perfect. Guys. I hate to be the bearer of amazing news. But it's time to go to the moon. Let's get everything out of our inventory here. Except for the essentials. Um, I mean, I, let's, I guess let's put as much as we can in this backpack so we'll take the safari net we'll grab one of our friends uh, okay oh this is gonna be intense okay I'm gonna unload everything and guys it's go time okay guys I think it's time I've gotten everything I need let us pick a friend here uh, I don't want to kill a horse they're too nice I gotta pick a derpy friend a sheep I think is good so I've got just the basics sword pick bow arrows some steak I've got some extra stuff in my backpack here um, okay hello so I've got my shovel and my axe some more steak some water and it's raining safari net some power here I mean I don't and these things glowstone torch because there's no oxygen in space so you can't use regular torches I've got them anyway but um Oh man, let's let's take a. Oh gosh, hello. Let's just find a random sheep. I don't want to take one out of my pen. Did I show you guys that yet? I'm using that to make all kinds of different colored wool. I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, let's see. The first friendly mob we see. First friendly mob we see. There he is, right there. I'm gonna save you from this creeper, buddy. It is gonna be a horse, and I'm sorry. There he is. Okay. So we're gonna have a horse friend. Uh, I think he's gonna die, but he probably would have died anyway. I just saved him. Remember that. So, guys, I think it's time to go to the moon. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, uh, is this really how we do it? Is it loaded? Let's check it out. I'm not gonna not gonna launch it. Oh, it's loaded. We're locked and loaded and ready to go, guys. I'm a bat right now. Let's turn in a regular snowshoe. I didn't upgrade my armor or anything, we're still wearing regular diamond armor, or uh, iron armor. So let's tell our friends, um, 
I'm headed to the moon. Tell my dinosaur I love him. Live long and prosper. Okay, here we go. It's time. Snowshoe going to the moon in 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Uh, hyperventilating. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. We don't have a choice. We're lifting off. Three, two, one. Oh gosh, guys, we're going to the moon. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is crazy. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, farewell. Everything I've ever known. I really don't want to have to make this rocket again. Oh, please don't break. Guys, there's the Earth. There's North America and South America, I assume. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I need to keep an eye on how much... Oh gosh, that's not what I needed. Make sure do not hit shift or I will launch myself out of this rocket. Need to make sure we don't use up 50% of our fuel. I think we should be okay. Okay, let's see. We're at 70%. No, I think we're about to exit atmosphere. Uh, yeah, we're getting close. I think when the sound goes away, that means you're getting close. Guys, we're in space. Um, okay, let's see. How far? We're at 60, 60%. Okay, good. So, go to the moon. Send to dimension. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Space to slow down. Space to slow down. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh, oh, check our altitude. 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 We're at 420 and lowering. Oh, we're descending fast. Negative 10. Okay, I think that's as, as slow as we can go. Oh, we made it in the buggy, though, or whatever. The space lander. Okay, I don't think we're gonna... I, I don't think we're gonna die. I think I'm gonna try to steer this. Oh, gosh. Did we land? We're here. Guys, we're on the moon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Successful mission to the moon. Oh, wow. Okay, I need a frequency module if I want to hear properly. Um... All right, so uh, I think this is holding our stuff. It is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. This is uh, this is really bad. <laughs> 